Hey, what's happening guys? Elton here. I'm in saint Abaya, Quebec, just over the river of Montreal. And look at this fantastic, oh my God, I mean, you know, I filmed one of these a couple of years ago in the Point St. Charles district of the city, and I pointed out that these were, uh, unfortunately, they were shit boxes. but so what? They're the most beautiful shit boxes Chrysler ever made, quite frankly, part of the fuselage styling era of 1969 to 73. I mean, the 300, let's see, the 300 alone that has these hidden headlamps was very, what an imposing automobile. And uh, thankfully, uh, like so many convertibles, despite the quality issues these cars have, not necessarily mechanically though, that a lot of them have been uh, preserved, you know. And I've been walking up here, looking, I'm searching, and I'm searching for the cars that I haven't filmed that I liked. And man, there's tons of 70s and 80s cars, and there's freaking wasps. And I bet you 100 bucks that's the original sand khaki color. Look at that, eh? Yeah, man. Get out of here, the freaking wasp is not my, it's my camera. Get out of here, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Vous, eh? Wait. I, know, I knew it was the gentleman who owned these coming towards me. I said, I bet you his car, he sees me filming there. I don't know, maybe you recognize me or something, but. Uh, your oh, you reckon? Yes. Yes? yes, I see it. What's your name, sir? Monsieur Pierre Boivin. Bonjour, Monsieur Boivin, c'est Alton McFall. Yes. Ça fait plaisir. Yeah, on video, on, 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 on. Mr. Boivet, yeah, uh, do saw, you want to be on camera or no? I don't mind. Okay, well, I don't, mi I well, don't mind. Yeah, because you've got an old school shirt too, so you know, it, it fits, you know? It fits with the car. Exactly. Okay. And uh, where are you coming from today? From La Prairie. Oh, La Prairie, not yeah. far at all. Very convenient for you for a yes. car that gets like eight miles per gallon, eh? <laughs> 440 <laughs> TNT there. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So, okay. what's the story with this car, man? I bought What's the car last year during the pandemic. Somebody wanted to, uh, to uh, sell it. Okay, we got a deal. So yeah. The price was right. And I yeah. wanted to buy personally a uh, convertible. I didn't, right. I, I didn't care what brand. Right. And when I saw that one, I said, okay, good. So, so do you know if it's a numbers match? It's yeah, all original? It's all original, or, all original. I can see the interior is original right here, especially yeah. from the wear on the pull. Exactly. From the humidity and the heat over time yes. there. Yeah. It's a lot of sun. So what does it have? Like 80,000 miles or something? Or? No, not even. I can't see that. You're gonna, you know yeah. I'm visually impaired, eh? So okay. have a look for me, please. 73,363. Oh, that's not far away, eh? Okay. Oh, you got your power windows, power steering, power, power brakes. Power brakes, power windows. Anything else? Uh, power uh, trunk. Power trunk. Trunk, uh, yeah. Uh, stuff, map light, electric system, of course. Uh, uh, whatever comes. Got the uh, lighter in the back. What is this here for? Okay, this is to pull up. Oh, the okay, Benway. Stupid me. No, no. Nobody's, uh. perfect. Nobody's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> no, because a lot of cars, you would just push the seat back, yeah. right? You know? that, that one locks. That, them blocks. Oh, yeah, I noticed it right away. I said, oh, I have to record. Because I've filmed a lot of these cars. I you know. know. I and a lot of them are 80s and 70s. And I'm like, and I'm, I'm like Excuse me for swearing, but where the fuck are the older cars? I think they're all the way down there. Yeah, there's some over there. Oh, yeah. That's the 50s, the, yeah. you know, the, the Thunderbirds and yeah. the Corvettes. Thanks for telling me that. And the, uh, let's say, the uh, imports over there on that side, on the, on the right side. Right. The imports. Oh, we, man, we, you see how yeah. bad my memory is. I met yeah. this gentleman already in St. Anne de Bellevue. Yes, we did. He had a beautiful uh, orangey, Brown, copper, 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 yeah. copper, 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 and yeah. white interior. Oh, car yeah, was gorgeous. I know. Still have it? You still have it? Of course. I buy them, I don't sell them. <laughs> That's good. Them. That's good because yeah. then they might end up uh, overseas, you know. No, 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 no. No. I keep them. I always like how they did this. Eh? They put the 300 in letters, yeah. you know. Kind of make it in more. I think they did that was, too it here. It was right? on the side. 69 was oh. here. Oh, yeah. Is here. I was going to look for it here. Yeah, you know, no. yeah you pointed 69, it out. 69, 70. The right on. Would change a bit. And since that you have the hood already unlatched, can we see that TNT? Uh, yes, sir. I'm sure it's still called a TNT, I, th exactly. I think. Man, I'm gonna have to take a break after all I had to eat was an apple. I'm never hungry in the morning because I have two cups of coffee, you know? Man, venir ici, ça a été un ras de bol. Ah, from now No, because I live in Oshelag and I took the metro to Longueuil Metro and I get to the Tim Hortons there and it's like 20 people waiting in line. And then I said, shit, I'm gonna miss my bus, you know? So, uh. Yeah, it's all original. Would you do me a favor like last time, Pierre, and start it off? Do you mind? Because you know it's a Mopar. We have to hear the four I know, four, you know. It's a I have to hear it, you know. It's a capricious Mopar, that one. Well, we'll see if it starts. Oh, it'll start, no problem. <laughs> it's capricious. <laughs>
Hey, my friend Lamir! Oh, you're on camera though. What's that about Mac? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. I'm starting to regret asking you now. Music, that sweet music, oh yeah. Let me get that from the rear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I may not drive legally, but I live vicariously for people with cars. Well, you know what Darnell would say, okay, turn it off before we all choke to death. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I think it's a loose connection somewhere. It's the Bendik inside the story. I have to take it off. Oh, really? Yeah, that's okay. I thought it was one of the, no, one no, of the cables no, no, no. or something. This is all okay. It's, a, it's, it's on the start. I have to just... I, 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 so you have to know this stuff. Because yeah, that's that's the thing. If you're a younger guy, you want to buy it. And you got the money. That's great. But you got to do research. You got to know there's, they have certain little things that... That's when I started saying about the quality is going down the 70s. And, you know, it's not to be a prick. It's just you have to be aware. They're amazing cars, but they have a lot of little things, you know. The quality is... very good motors. The motors are great. They are great yeah, motors. The transmission's great. Best transmission in it's America. Just all the other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> The rest you know. is okay. That's it. But if you drive the car regularly with no regular, oh, no, no right. problem. Yeah. No problem. No, that's it. No, no. Oh, I just, I just, I just, I just, I had a friend one time and he had a 74 Imperial and he was right yeah. by saying that, you know, you'd have to like rebuild the carburetor almost every year if you drive regularly because they just, they weren't, they're not going to start. On my New Yorker, still the original one, it's been calibrated by someone who knows how to do it. What's the mileage on that New Yorker? Uh, 72, 71,000 miles, something. <laughs> So it's not bad. You know what's funny? I guess it's because I love colors, but I love that New Yorker even more. I was never a convertible guy, honestly. Okay. I, I like them, you know. I mean, San Fepo, Capote. See, I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why. I mean, that was I, the last year of the convertible in 1970. Well, there you go. And, and I love year. the fuselage styling. Exactly. But you know why they also made them like this, right? Because you know, Avant Soda before that. You had all these creases in the body, and they lost a lot of money stamping all those because they made a lot of uh, mistakes stamping out those bodies because there was, you know, the, the crease that came out here, and then it went like this, and then went yeah. in again. And Russ got in there. That's, and, why, that's and, what makes those cars amazing. It's not yeah. because they were amazing cars. It's because the designs were amazing, because the engines were amazing. I rode a couple of years ago with my cousin by a fluke in Santa Ana Bellevue. I rode in the 67 Newport. Ah, so take care. Right. It's amazing. Well. It's amazing. Yeah. You know? The suspension in the front is okay. Uh, if I compare it to my Cadillac, okay, the suspension in the front for my Cadillac or my New Yorker is almost the same. The back is a bit uh, rougher because it's, it's so spring. What Cadillac? Uh, I have an 88 Cadillac Fleetwood also. Oh, that's funny. I just spoke with an old lady over there. She's got one there. She's the original owner with 18,000 kilometers. Over there? Yeah, way down there, two blocks away. If I'm not trying to see them, I don't know.